we're going to be talking about Twelfth Night, or as I like to call it, a Scooby-Doo episode. You got gay pining, twins, sassy maids, egomaniacs. I mean, I think we hit all of the checkpoints there. Written by William Shakespeare around 1601-1602, Twelfth Night, unlike a few of other, his other plays, has a lot more musical numbers in it, mostly by The Fool, but a few by some drunken idiots. So Twelfth Night follows this woman named Viola, who is shipwrecked on this island called Illyria. And so Viola decides to cross-dress, and she works for this man named Orsino. And Orsino is in love with this woman named Olivia, and Olivia has this whole, woe is me, my brother's dead, so I'm not gonna love or marry anybody for seven years. But that doesn't last very long when she meets Viola cross-dressed as a man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Viola's twin brother Sebastian washes up on shore, and in the end they kind of cause a little confusion with people on Illyria, because they think they're the same person. Because they're twins! And while all of that is happening, you have two drunk slash one idiot trying to convince this egomaniac that Olivia is in love with him as well, and you know, that really bites them in the ass in the end because they get found out. And you know, none of them actually get punished, except the egomaniac who goes to like this hell prison because he's in the dark. <laughs> Boo hoo. The themes of Twelfth Night, in my opinion, cover love, gender, and sexuality. I felt in Twelfth Night there was a lot of heavy undertones of gay. <laughs> when Orsino finds out that Viola is a woman, he instantly marries her without hesitation. And Sebastian and Antonio, this man who finds him, they have a little thing going on. Twelfth Night was a little frustrating for me because honestly if the characters would have just communicated with each other, it all would have worked out, but instead they all danced around words with each other. Um, and also Olivia's whole thing with I'm never gonna love again and like, we're only sad here, no smiling, those yellow stockings are ugly on you e egomaniac. But as soon as she finds a cute guy that she's attracted, she's like, dead brother who? If you're looking for something lighthearted or something that's just kind of funny and you don't want to think about for a while, Twelfth Night is definitely for you. It plays on the whole twin thing and the confusion of it because that's such a classic funny thing. Um, the gay undertones were very exciting for me. I very much enjoyed the I've devoted my life to you, like I'll do anything for you in a way with Antonio and Sebastian. It was all around pretty good. Um, but you should form your own opinions, and you should definitely read it or watch a production of this. I highly recommend it. Also, yes, I'm drinking beer. I'm a multifaceted bitch. Deal with it.